did you know that comedy is subjective? That's what the cowards would have you think. Not me though, not this guy. Today, I proudly stand before you and deliver the best TV comedies of all time on this episode of Whose Comedy Is It Anyway? That's a working title, here on Guru Hub. Before I begin, I want to point out there's no animated TV shows on this list. I did a previous entry already ranking those top 10. I don't want to brag, but I watch a lot of television. Arrested Development isn't for everyone. It's for the right ones. The meta humor is on another level, with each episode stacking jokes. A slick layer of political comedy blends perfectly with the dysfunctional, self-absorbed family. Season 1 and 2 are remarkable, with 3 providing a mixed bag of laughs. The show would be even higher on my list, but it continues to carry on on Netflix, with Season 4 and now 5, and those are doing more harm than good. <laughs> Tina Fey and her staff of idiots take us inside the writer's room of 30 Rock. Alec Baldwin, Tracy Morgan, Jane Krakowski, and of course Faye play off each other so well with great comedic timing and top-tier reactionary cutaways. Plus there's the multitude of celebrities popping in, zany catchphrases, and parody shows like MILF Island. I want to go to there. I'm partial to this one because I'm familiar with the startup world and the socially awkward people who occupy that space. Silicon Valley is a really interesting show for the fact that they build up these crazy plots only to instantly burn them down and rebuild again. Most shows would take the idea of a company going bankrupt and stretch it out for a full season. Valley wraps something like that up in a breezy 30 minutes. On to the next plot. It's rare when a show can be as funny as Parks and Rec, yet remain so well-hearted. Well-hearted? I don't know if that works. I'm gonna keep going. Cosby used to be like that. I remember that very well. I watched the living hell out of Cosby. It was one of my favorites. And it would be on this list today, but it's not now for obvious reasons. I'm racist. Speaking of only white people, Everybody Loves Raymond's my next pick. If someone were to criticize this list for their own foolish gain, I suppose my placement of Everybody Loves Raymond would be the place to start. It's definitely the most cookie-cutter, vanilla show on here. But I guess I'm just a sucker for families being miserable together. Plus, the bitchier Deborah gets, the hotter she is in my eyes. So by season 9, whew, she's off the charts. Scrubs puts me in a good mood, plain and simple. It has a bit of a Family Guy formula to it, with lots of cutaway jokes and pop culture references. What makes Scrubs so appealing to me was the creativity each episode contained. That and the budding romance J.D. and Tur cultivate over the many years they're together. I agree with Larry David on his show Curb Your Enthusiasm far more than I don't. Does that make me a bad person? Probably. The difference is, I never act on the impulses Larry does. He says the things people tend to avoid, which lead to some extremely funny situations that almost never work out in his favor. Most of these shows have great celebrity cameos, but Curb definitely puts them to shame, with each season taking on two or three big celebs for multiple episodes. Larry David said to Ted Danson last season, I'm sick of seeing you on TV. Well, I'm not, Larry. Keep them coming. Feel free to swap this for the British version if you'd like, I don't care. If you're a purist and you like Ricky Gervais, I respect that. The guy's funny as hell. I'm partial to the American version though. The Office has provided me more laughs in season 2 and 3 alone than most shows do in their entire run. Season 2 may be the funniest season of television ever produced. Perhaps you feel different, but it's always left me satisfied and smiling. And that's what she said. Originally tagged as Seinfeld on crack, Always Sunny in Philadelphia features a deplorable group of friends that are only in it for themselves. Dennis, Sweet D, Mac, Charlie, and Frank have fantastic chemistry together, and it's only made funnier when some of the side characters such as Rickety Cricket, the McPoyles, or their awful family members crop up. It's also home to Dayman, one of the greatest, most beautiful songs ever crafted. Dayman. The show about nothing that truly is something. I lived and breathed Seinfeld for many years of my life, annoyingly quoting lines from every episode, proudly displaying my Cosmo Kramer painting and shirtless George Costanza posters in my room. Girls that came over would be immensely confused by these posters, but I would defend them to the death. I'm joking. Girls had no interest in me. The four leads, Jerry, Elaine, George, and Kramer, had hilarious individual stories that oftentimes connected by the end of the episodes, 
but some of the best ones featured all of them together in a relatable premise. Trying to find a parked car, waiting for a table. Situations that normally had people yelling serenity now became perfect punchlines in the greatest TV comedy of all time. If you never gave Seinfeld a chance over the years, well, that's a shame. You know, sign of a woman. hoo ah hoo -ah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. You know something? <laughs> no soup for you! As always, I turned to the internet to ask for their opinions, and no shock, a lot of them agreed with me. After all, I have created the most superior list of all time ever. Hunter, Trevor, and Tristan all put The Office in the number one spot, while Evan and Jim went with my number one, Seinfeld. There were a few that chose shows that didn't even make my list. Big Phil tossed Community into the mix, which is a very solid pick, while McFrozen Nuggets jokingly picks The Big Bang Theory. I mean, that was a joke, right? It, it has to be. I'm not sure everybody will agree with this list. After all, McFrozen Nuggets wasn't far off. Big Bang Theory is the number one comedy, or at least it was for a while, which I feel like they're trolling us with that. Plenty of other comedies have given me years of laughs, such as How I Met Your Mother, That 70s Show, and Workaholics. For now, though, this is my list in all its glory. Thanks for watching this episode of Everybody Loves Comedies. That's a working title. Let's end with Michael Scott doing something funny. Worst thing about prison was the was the Dementors. They were flying all over the place and they were scary and then they come down and they suck the soul out of your body and it hurt.